Hi, I'm Rob. I have brick and mouth syndrome, and Bloodstock have announced their first announcement for next year's event. Um, I don't know when this is going up, so they just announced it for me, but it could be a week or two ago for you guys. And honestly, looking at it, it's a bit of an interesting one. I'm not quite sure what they're thinking this year, next year, but it's all right. It's not bad. So headlining, we have Architects and the Monomarch. That is an interesting one. Um, now Architects obviously should be headlining a festival of that size, but I'm not quite sure that Bloodstock is the one for them. I'm on a Marth, yeah, it makes sense, not my thing. I think it's fucking boring and samey samey, but people love it, so cool. Those are both UK exclusives, so it's gonna be interesting to see them taking off the cards for every other festival next year. I do believe Architects would be better headlining Arc Tangent or even 2000 Trees, but I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe Vicky really does want to be mini download. Then you also have bands like Malevolence and Clutch. Malevolence I'm really upset about because that is a UK festival exclusive. I was hoping they'd be a download next year because I fucking love those guys when I saw them. Their acoustic set of download last year was amazing and I don't think that Bloodstock would get that sort of special thing that we got. Clutch. They're clutch, they're good, they're alright, they're fine. Then under those guys we have Corplicani, which, yeah, fine, fun, awesome. Flogging Molly, which I think, yeah, cool band, good band. Again, not quite sure if it's the right pull for Bloodstock, but it could work. Igor are, got a UK exclusive, that's fine. Um, again, not a band I really give a shit about. Rotting Christ are there, they're a UK exclusive as well. Makes perfect sense for Bloodstock. Septic Flesh, UK only festival. Sure, makes sense. The Night Flight, Night, the Night Flight Orchestra. On their one that I would've been quite interested in seeing, so quite upset there, but they do not say that it is an exclusive there. Green Lung are there again, one band I really like and quite gutted about as well. Unleash the Archers. Totally fine, perfectly respectable Bloodstock band, and makes sense. They are one that often is brought up in those circles. And the last two we have Hell Ripper, yep, Bloodstock, the name says it all, and Infected Rain. Yeah, sure, makes total sense. That's not a bad announcement, first of all, but if you go on their website, you can actually see which days these bands are on already. So let's have a look at it. So far, we have Rotting Christ, Nightfly Orchestra, and Clutch are all on the Friday on the Ronnie Jane, on the Ronnie James Dio stage, it's main stage. So that's interesting. We do not have the Friday headliner announced yet. And Igor are on Friday on the Sophie stage. Saturday on the main stage, Unleash the Archers, Malevolence and Architects. If that was the final three for that day on that stage, that's really good. Um, Malev are at that point where they should be subbing the main of Bloodstock. They're too good. They are too good. And Corplicani are on the Sophie stage on the Saturday. And then on the Sunday we have Septic Flesh and a Monomath on the main stage and Infective Rain on Sophie stage. Honestly, that's not bad. Um, as much as I dislike Vicky as a human, she does have some good skills when it comes to planning these out. And genuinely, this feels like it's going to be very good bloodstock next year. I'm probably not going to end up going to it again, um, just because there's not enough in this first announcement that really drags me in. And the work situation, I might not get the time off for that one. Probably won't even have the funds for it. So. It'll be a good one. If you go into it and if you've been sold on it already, let me know. Um, let me know why it sold you on it and have a nice little chat down in the comments. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, cool. Like, subscribe, you know all the shit. See ya!